Hey folks, have you ever wondered how you can debug a subquery project? Well, stick around and I'll show you how. The first step is I'm going to open up VS Code and create the standard startup project. So this is where you go subql init. I'm going to give this a name. Let's go, I'll call it debug demo. Accept all the defaults. And then I'll install the dependencies first of all. And then I'll go and run code gen. And then I'll build the project. Great. Now it's at this point here that you might run something like docker compose up. But to debug a project in subquery, you need to have a node running locally. Typically, you'd be using the subql node command and then point node to the location of the project itself. So we will use this, but we'll modify this command slightly. And we'll start off by using the node inspect command. We're going to add brk because we'll get the code to break before loading up. And then we'll point the rest of the arguments to the location of our node. So let's go user local. This is where my subquery node is. I'll provide the if flag again. And I'm going to use dot again because I'm actually in the project folder itself. Otherwise, you would provide an absolute path to your project. Now, if I hit enter here, you'll see the debugger has activated and it's listening. So now let's jump back into Chrome and open up developer tools. Now here you'll see I've got a green icon here where I can open a dedicated window for DevTools, specifically for Node.js. So I'll do that. And you should see down below the debugger now is attached. And it's been paused up here because we use BRK in our flag. Now, the next thing I want to do is under sources, file system, I'm going to add a folder. This is the project folder, like so. Let's allow the permissions. And then I'm just going to resume the script execution. Once I've done this, you should see that the node is going to start up. There we go. The node has started fetching blocks 1 to 100, 101 to 200, etc. So now if we jump back into our DevTools window, let's go and open up the distribution folder under mappings, and I'll open up the mapping handler. So this is where the code sits, and we can start setting breakpoints in here. So let's go and set a breakpoint on our records field. And then now the code is going to be paused when it hits this line of code. And indeed it has. And if I go ahead and step over this line so that the actual field one record can be populated and I hover over this, you'll see that it's currently 86. So let me go across on the right hand side here under the record field. You can see field one is 86. And I've got the ID as well. So I'm able to inspect the value of various variables. And of course, if I continue to run this, you can see it'll run to the next cycle. And then it'll pause again. And then I can step over this. And you can see the field will be 87. So there you go, folks. A way to debug your code line by line, adding breakpoints, etc. in your subquery projects. Catch you next time.